if they pay before the meeting ends. I mean, that so you, right now, you haven't rescinded anybody's voting right. rights, to my knowledge. Right. Yeah. So the, the earliest date you can do it is at the next meeting, presumably. Okay, so to reinstate them, do you have to have another meeting? Uh, to, to, to no, because automatically, if, if, if they're current, you could say that in the letter when you send out the letter there. So when, when someone votes at the annual meeting, for example, mm -hmm. and we get the documentation in for, to use Mrs. Smith again, Mrs. Smith sends in, sends in a proxy, and we knew that Mrs. Smith's voting rights were rescinded, we'll check the account balance. Right. If the account balance is still outstanding, then that proxy will not be counted. Right. If right. it is current, obviously it would be counted. Right. Now is this just assessments, what about fines if somebody's got a... That's any monetary. Any monetary obligation. Yes. I mean, the fining some... process, as you know, needs to go through the fining committee for it to be established and validated on the individual owner's account. Correct. Once you've done that, it's a monetary obligation. Okay. So basically then, we should be sending out letters to everyone who is on our... Um, on the list is stating that well I had sent this to the management company whatever and I believe you gentlemen saw it and if you feel that this is the proper letter that just states as you're aware that there are currently past due violations or fines on your account the purpose of this letter is to attempt to settle this matter with you as soon as possible to avoid any potential legal issue. as you may or not be aware, Florida law now allows for associations with liens and places on homes with violations, fines over a thousand dollars. Also, a new law of as of July first, two thousand eleven, statute seven twenty three oh five gives the association the right to suspend the voting rights of any member that is more than ninety days delinquent for any monetary obligation due to the association. Pursuing collections on these fees is a last resort option, so we are hoping you will contact us to make arrangements to resolve this pending matter and avoid further expense to the association yourself. As of today, assessments or fines in the amount of blank have accumulated on your account. We have made several attempts to collect these assessments or fines. We are now hoping you will submit payment to the association so the matter can be closed. If we do not receive payment by blank day, your voting right will be suspended under section 720-305, article four, and will turn the matter over to the association attorney for collection. Because we realize it may be difficult to make requested payments in one lump sum, the association will be willing to set up a payment plan if that would help. Please contact the management company in writing with your effort to in writing with your offer to settle and the board will review. You may direct any response regarding this letter to your board of directors in writing in care of the management company as as agent for management of Benita Springs at the above address or fax. Thank you for your anticipated prompt response. The only change I would suggest is the association may be willing to set up May be willing. Okay, that's fine. It gives you the right, but not the obligation. If you say you would be willing, that's a commitment on your part that you may not be willing to make depending on the circumstances. Right. So I would say may, not would. Okay. And other than that, it's fine. Okay, that's fine. Then I will I take have, their correction. Uh, and I have a problem. I think you're being too easy on them. I mean, well, we're people, giving them the opportunity you, to pay if their bill. Start paying hundred dollars a month that we're going to give them their voting rights no. back no. and everything has to be paid that's why mr Benton said you have to change that word you change it to may and if 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 mrs smith let's pick on her again wants to come to the community to the board and say look i can make these payments i can do it this way you may or may not accept that if someone wants to pay you ten dollars a month for the rest of their life you're not going to accept that if someone wants to pay you two hundred dollars a month depending on what the balance is. Right. So you want to reserve the judgment, right? I'm, I'm more interested in the voting rights part. Do we give them back their voting rights if I they start to pay? Off. I think they have to well, pay the full amount, don't they, to be able to vote? Again, you, you, 
don't have to revoke the voting rights. You may. You have the right to revoke, not the obligation. That's what, what the statute says. So a if, there. if okay. someone comes up with a reasonable a reasonable payment plan, it's, it's a complete package. If you accept the payment plan, it seems reasonable to me that you would give back the voting rights. You can't have it both ways. We should be so lucky that they'd want to come and vote, so. <laughs> right, right. Well, there is Who would that. care? <laughs> or pay their, what they owe. I mean, let, let's be blunt. Someone who's in financial difficulty, for whatever reason, is going to be less concerned about their voting rights and more right. concerned about, hopefully, keeping their property. That all said, this is, this is an olive branch, the cost of which is the cost of the paper, the envelope, and the postage. Okay, so basically we will start with the letter to see where we, um, where we end up with the response, and then we will go from there. Would this go out registered? It can if you want. I, I, I wouldn't because people won't pick them up anyway. Right. We have a lot of that in this community. So I would decide on the list. I would decide on on, on the, the turnaround time. I would say 14 days is more than enough. So if the letters go out tomorrow, we'll pick a date 14 days from tomorrow. And we'll keep the list of who we send it to. And then you'll know what you need to do from there. And at the October meeting, Okay, that's fine. Because actually, we really need to do something. People are just, they, they just stop paying and they don't care and, and whatever, whether it's going to be any kind of a deterrent. But, whatever but that also will change the quorum. Whatever, it will. Whatever you do, it needs to be consistent, as I think you know. Absolutely. And unfortunately, in this climate with elections, the soft approach usually doesn't work. Has to be a consistent, hardline approach, and at, you know, at a time and date certain, and all discussions are over. It goes to the attorney for collection. Correct. Liens get filed, and if necessary, on a selective basis, foreclosing the lien. Because what you want to do by foreclosing the lien is to dispossess the owner of the home, so that if they're renting, that will come to an end. Uh, if they, for some reason, are paying their mortgage but not their homeowner happen. They'll stop doing that. So you, you just want to move the process along. Absolutely. There's no selective enforcement. You do what you have to do and if it doesn't put you on anybody's party list, well, then that's big goes. Correct. Okay. So my, my question is, are we going to send this letter out to the people on the September 28th list? We'll, we'll produce a, a current list as of, for example, tomorrow. Uh, September will be the end of the month, so maybe Fine. that'd be. So September 30th is month end. So as at September 30th, we'll print out the list. And other than the ones that we know are, for example, in the head of the mortgage company, they're not going to do anything. Right. And we will mail those, those letters out, right, sir? Yeah. So before, can we write off the $3 accounts? Yeah, we're not going to send these letters. To no, but I mean, can we write them off so September's clean? At the yeah. end of September? Yeah. I think we you put that, that in your report, yeah. though, didn't yeah. you? Just to, yeah. Um, yeah. to get rid of all. I just don't know the timing. So you made that recommendation, the report was accepted, and so as at Friday night, Angelique will write down all those de minimis dollar amounts. Yep. Yeah. Okay. All right, well, then someone will someone make a motion that this letter be sent out? Is there any discussion? Um, you know, based upon the end of September aging report. Yes, yes. Correct. So before we get into October requirements, right? I mean, there, there's another assessment due October 1, but if we send it out as of September 30th, yeah. we'll be okay. Yeah. Any more discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion is carried. Yes, could we do that?